Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name's Dazzling Dave and today I'm quite excited because I've been sent this from my friends at Beer52.com. If you don't know, Beer52.com, they're basically search around the globe from the best small batch beer breweries from different countries around the world to bring it to you each month in one of these boxes. And we're going to have a look inside this box and review and I'm going to invite some friends uh, as well who love their craft beer to review and give you their thoughts. If you keep watching as well, got something absolutely fantastic uh, that my friends at beer52.com have got and that means that you can get yourself one of these with eight craft beers for free. Keep watching for that. Welcome back. We've got the box and I've got some friends with me. We've got Dave the Draw, Stan the Man, obviously myself, Dazzling Dave and Super Ellie. And basically I've brought uh, these friends involved because they're all very, very passionate about their craft beer. And we're going to be basically reviewing the beers and everyone's going to pick out their favourites and tell them what they like or don't like about Beer 52, the club. So, but first of all, we've got to open the box and there is a way that it is designed to open. Obviously, it's taped at the top, but here you can possibly see, hopefully, that you just literally have to rip this open, such as like this. Nice and simple, and it opens up as you can see. So let's get a look into the box and what comes with it. First off, right at the front here, you can see the magazine. Now the magazine is the Ferment magazine. Now this comes with actually every single box that you get each month. And obviously they do, as I said, from different countries. This particular box that's come today is actually the Helsinki and Talon. So the, uh, the beers have come from that area of the world. And if you look at the magazine, it's very, very comprehensive, but it also lists and it gives you an example of what each and every beer is. So the first beer is the Yes IPA. This is 5.5% and apparently it's very fruity. Now, guys, let's try this one. So yeah, so this is what I want. Like, let's start with uh, Ellie first. Ellie, what are your thoughts? I like that, but I'm quite a fan of like fruity sort of beer, so like, yeah. it's my sweet straight away. And like, it's quite light, which for me is a major important factor for me. I much far, like prefer light beers. It's Fantastic. not too heavy on you. And um, stand the man. That's very nice, but fruity. Yeah, it's got a hoppy taste over this as mm. well. So it's not particularly sort of bitter on, your, on yeah. the back of your palate, it's just a nice beer. I think it has a nice aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. afterwards. And Dave? Yeah, I love it. It's got a really nice smell. <laughs> oh, really light. Just a really easy beer to drink. I you can, can drink loads. easily <laughs> pair that with like cheese or crisps. Yeah, it's good. Well, yeah, well really which we cheese. are actually uh, doing. <laughs> we could almost start a beer podcast. <laughs> that would be quite good, wouldn't it? So next up, we're going to go for a can, and this is the uh, Mosaic Lager, and this is from what, uh, the Forest of Finland, from one of the, the most uh, famous breweries over in Finland, one of the biggest breweries over in Finland, and it's uh, supposed to be a little bit on the bitter side, quite smooth and hoppy. Ready for this one, guys? Mm -hmm. So here we go. <laughs> so who wants to kick off with this one straight off? Do you want to go first again? Yeah, yeah, sure. Ellie? Again, for me, it's probably ideal. Really like what I liked about that one. Yeah. Even like I'd say more so than the previous one. Um, it just tastes really sweet, which I quite like. Definitely an all day beer. An all day beer. That's a good summer for yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Very clean on the palate as well. Yeah. No aftertaste. And uh, yeah. I could. And yourself? Yeah, it's like yeah, fresh and nice. Somebody beer. So barbecue would be a while. Goes down well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, barbecue, quite yeah. Sort of, yeah, yeah. 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 Refreshing beer. Good. Yeah. Okay. So next up, we've got the Sutsu 
Porter. And this one, um, looking at the magazine here, it's quite malty, sweet, smooth. Um, and we're going to be, this is, this is, I think this is going to be, going to be quite an interesting mm -hmm. one. Because um, obviously when you get in a, a, a mixed box like this, you ain't going to love everything. But you're going to hopefully love most of it. And the idea of it is obviously to try. So let's get, let's get into this one. What's your first impressions, Dave? Mm. Lovely smell, really smoky. And, uh, it really is, isn't it? Quite like a, a burnt caramel <coughs> taste, like when you first try it. Uh, but like surprisingly, no no strong aftertaste. Mm. Like uh, leaves your palate quite clean after. Stab. Yeah, it says what it does on the can, doesn't it? You get that uh, like burnt sugar taste at the mm. end. You can, yeah, caramelise, but then just slightly smoky. Yeah, very good. L. I'm actually quite surprised because this is not. You were nervous I about it. She was, was proper nervous <laughs> about this one, weren't you? You were like, um, am I going to hate it or like, you, you weren't sure? I'll be honest, like I've just said, I'm not a dark fan and particularly chocolate sort of or caramelly flavour that doesn't normally sit well with me but that I could drink but that isn't off-putting to me at all. It's got a nice, I like the smell it, of it Like, like well, said, there's not a horrible aftertaste that you do get sometimes, that doesn't have that, it's quite nice. I was really nice. interested to see how you were doing that, you really are surprised. I'm really surprised, I'm not really, no I really am. Fantastic. It's not a beer you go and buy. No, that's what I mean. So, I would never ever to, imagine myself drinking it. So yeah, you're right. One of the great things about the beer 52 <coughs> uh, thing is you're not going to get them in the supermarket. Any of these beers, and you won't get them in the supermarket. It's all about discovery. Mm. And uh, it's all about surprise. Mm. And that's what you get. You, 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 it's always a theme every month. So uh, the first three, really diverse, surprising as well mm, fantastic yeah. okay so the next one we're going with a can and this is the cloudberry saison and this is uh what we've got is it a um fruity yeah it says it's it sums up here as fresh bit spicy berryish hoppy high carbonated and an easy drinking saison beer okay so let's go with it mm -hmm. that's gone down it was really nice. Do you want some more? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely like that one. Hmm. Stan? I'll put, I'll, no, I'll, no, thank you. I'll put <laughs> that down to an acquired taste. Mm. An acquired taste? Yeah, and I haven't acquired the taste. You haven't acquired it, I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no. That, that's fine. It's not, that one's not for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm sitting on the fence, but I think I'm more with Stan on this one. Oh, yeah. We have a split oh. decision. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit too Who's chief judge? He's been like, <laughs> strictly. It's a bit too fizzy, a bit too fizzy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's has, it has got a bit of fizz yeah, to it. Yeah, it does have a fizz. If you don't like the, the fizz, it's going to put you off, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, I quite like it. I really yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, that's good. Really uh, so we're having a really fun time. We're on to this one, and I love the little man on this one again. Have a look. And this is the Burrow Sar Sarkas Easel. And this is a pale ale. I'm going to pour this, but whilst I'm doing this, Super Ellie is going to read a little bit of the notes about it. So the tasting notes in the magazine say that it pours a slightly hazy dark golden to amber with a fairly modest head. And the taste is going to be fruity, malty, with a spicy aroma with hoppy notes and a slight spicy warmth. It's going to be moderate sweetness and a caramel on the finish. Interesting. Well, we're pouring away here. Right. Oh, I like the smell on this mm. one. Well, that's a better smell. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fruity. It's a really nice smell and like quite a golden, golden taste. Oh, yeah. It's lovely. Oh. Very Moorish. <laughs> we'll definitely drink more. It's, oh, it's got quite a little, I think it's got quite a bit of a kick to it on the back of your tongue. When I'm like, I don't know if you notice that. I was going to say, that's probably the only issue oh, yeah. I have with this one. Is I love the initial taste, but the spicy afterkick is a little bit it is, too it much for me. It, it is actually a little bit on the yeah. uh, spice. And so. I'm not a huge spice fan, but it does have an afterkick. If you, if you like, like that it, sort of thing, yeah, like, that for me doesn't work. But I can understand why it would. Yeah. Because the other one probably didn't have a. That's the strongest aftertaste I think we've had. Have a think. What we could put this with food wise while we go on to watch, see what Stan thinks. Yeah, but when you taste it, the fruitiness doesn't come out. To well, you? To me, no. But you don't think it's your eyes in taste buds that are... Well, yes, because I have, I've got this problem. I worked in the chemical industry for years and my 
taste, but it's all a little bit off. But the beer isn't. And I could always drink beer. Yeah. And it's very drinkable. It's drinkable. It's drinkable. There we go. And what more do you want out of a beer? Exactly right. Drinkable. Exactly right. Yeah. So what do you think we could put this with food wise? I mean, if you were really daring, you'd probably put it with a curry. A curry? Yeah, actually, I'm going to see what I can have curry. Yeah. Because it's got that after kick, which is exactly the same. It's a, but yeah. I don't know if it would go real with cheese and biscuits. Yeah, but we've run out. Kick would kind of, we've we've, kind of, them we've got the biscuit. We've got a little bit of the biscuits with the cheese and stuff. <laughs> so we're on to number six out of eight. And do not forget uh, that you are going to be able to get th this box for free with just a delivery charge. Uh, from beer52.com and I'm going to give you the details of that at the end of this video and I'll also leave it in the description box below. So this one is the Musta Lumi Black Snow. No. I'm going to pull this and Elle's going to give you a little bit of a highlight on it again. Oh, I've got it this time. <laughs> what the lovely magazine tells us is it's an emerging beer style roughly defined as a beer with IPA level hopping with a distinct though. toasty dark malt character. Let's do this. I quite like the smell of this, to be honest. This is my favourite so far. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I quite yeah, like it. I really won't like this one because it's a dark beer. There you go, you've learned. Yeah. Well, fantastic. That would be quite a Christmassy beer, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What would you yeah. put that with? I'd say, like, you know, you go to Christmas markets and they've got all the food there. Yeah. I could definitely see that going quite well because it's quite yeah. a bitter yeah. taste. Yeah. You're good at putting these spoons and drinks together, I'm aren't you? I'm an expert in food, so thank you very You'll much. You put you on a Saturday kitchen yeah. <laughs> instead of the wine the beer. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's that one. Yep. Yeah. So, we come finally. The one. <laughs> this is the coffee gorilla. Now, one of the things about getting, getting the beer52.com box is you get lots of different things. Now, this, we'll save this one just for you. Till last but one, and it's the uh, the Coffee Gorilla Baltic Porter. I'm going to open this one up and um, tell us a little bit about this, and we're going to it's going to be interesting. But also, if you just focus in on that, Stan stands there, yeah. And if you read round it, David, yeah. what it says is it is a serious beer for not so serious people. Perfect for you then. Yeah, it's perfect, yeah. See, that's why I've got the SB on it. So, right, let's open this one up. So, under the taste and notes for this one, it says it's brewed with six different malts and smooth espresso. Lots of roasty malt flavours with dark chocolate and mellow alcohol tones. And in terms, it's already covered this one for us, it says pair this beer with everything chocolate. Wow, so, oh, it's perfect for Christmas. Yeah, it's yeah. very Christmassy sounding yeah. beer. Let's have a sniff of this one. That's a pleasant smell, David. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Nervous. <laughs> you, you are proper nervous. I suppose, I suppose if you use pot, you'd say aroma. Well, we say a smell. I love it. I think it's great. Oh. Yep, that's Straight there. off. Yeah. Like coffee, like yeah. beer. Yep, that's perfect. It does have the taste of coffee. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm big into my cups of tea, but I actually quite like it myself. What about you? Yeah. You know when you get to the end of a meal, you say, We'll have, shall we have coffee? Yeah. Why have coffee when you can have the beer? I can totally understand yeah. why you would have this with chocolate. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? You probably, you, you really would, wouldn't mm. you? Yeah. So. Ellie. Super Ellie. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually quite like it. You've been, really? you, you have been totally been scared of this, this one, one all the way through. Yeah. I have to admit, I think I was more worried that the flavour of the coffee would overdo it. Yeah. But for me, that's like just the right amount. Like it goes mm. really nicely. And like you were just saying, then like with the chocolate, that would be like perfect. I'm really, I'm so surprised. This is actually, I could actually ever yeah, do some more. So this, this is to see the thing. This is the beauty of the, of the box, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. It's like you'd never try it before. You wouldn't try it. Yeah. You're like absolutely petrified of this one. You'd be like, oh no. Any dark ones normally. And scary. I think we've all quite liked this one. Yeah. And you would never have tried that, and you would no. never have expected it. No. Dave didn't like it, by no, the way. Look, look, no, <laughs> da Dave didn't, definitely didn't like it. So one of the things about the Beer 52 box is the fact that you can, if you wanted to, if you yes. really didn't like dark, yeah. you can mix it up, can't you? Yeah, they do a mix box, which I believe is what this is right in front yeah. of us, and then they do a light box, which for me is absolutely the main sort of reason I probably would go to this sort of place, because my 
main, as I mentioned, the whole way through this is that I am not a dark but ale fan. Although you might actually be changing your thoughts on like that. Right now. Which is why the mix box is so good because I think with the mix box you've got that opportunity to try something you wouldn't. The light box is very good for if you know you know who's coming around. If you're doing it for friends' sake, if you know that nobody's got a preference for dark beer, then doing the light box is perfect for that opportunity. But in this sort of circumstance, when you know you want to sort of push those boundaries, then a mix box is probably the best thing for you, particularly for me, because I'm re I'm so surprised I enjoyed that, but I did. And it goes with chocolate, and hey, who yeah. doesn't like chocolate? Come on. Okay, oh uh, god, we've had such fun. We, we I've got to be honest, we've had we have had fun and. It's got more fun as it's been going along, I wonder why that is. But we are on to the last one, and this is Papas, Papas yeah. Vanilla Stout. I'm going to pour this, I can get my nails under it, and um, it's got a bit of coffee in it again, has it? Yeah, so it's got a coffee aroma with a sweet and smooth espresso finish. And it seems to be quite malty and again wow. quite smooth. Wow, yeah, that's dark. That is Ooh. dark. Oh. That is dark. Fear. The dark side is coming for you. Ellie, Ellie, I don't know. Why was it the yeah. last one? Why didn't we plan this? <laughs> well, we didn't know. We didn't know. We, did, we did plan it. But this is what you get with a surprise yeah. box. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see what it smells. Right, let's yeah. get the smelling going. Are we ready? Oh, yeah. wow, it's got it's a strong nice. smell. Crikey, yeah. ass. That's definitely vanilla. Yeah. You like vanilla, don't you? Mm -hmm. Aston. <laughs> Aston. Don't go there. <laughs> oh, that's ice cream, that is. Mm. Definitely. What do you think, Dave? I really like it. Yeah. It's like a lovely smell. You couldn't drink a lot of it, though, could you? It's no, you couldn't drink it quick either. No. <laughs> well, well, I really quite like it. I have. Yeah. If I like it, I do drink it quick. 6.8%, you've only drink that quickly. Wow. Oh, she's chicken in there then. So I take yeah. it that's not your, not for you. I'm that afraid one. that is probably my least That's one favorite. step further, oh, one yeah. step further on the dark side for you. Yeah, too far across. I think for me that one was almost too strong in the coffee flavour. Yeah. That was overpowering that's for me. That's probably quite more creamy. Too bitter. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I did creamy. not enjoy yeah. that one. I'm not getting the coffee flavours. No, I'm, I'm not. Getting, I think it's more sweet, sweet vanilla, yeah. yeah. Personally. It's the dark, it's the dark side, like you said, I just can't. I'll find it more, but it's really vanilla -y. I think that's why I quite like it. I really like it. You don't get the coffee. Though. Okay, yeah, you get the taste yeah. of the, the tea, it's more it's vanilla to me. More vanilla, but... So what we're going to do, guys? We've had re we've really enjoyed this, and, and, and something like this is a really good experience to be shared as as well. You know, you we're going to do. Like, we're going to we're going to line them all up in a minute. And we're going to do our favourites. We're going to pick a favourite each. Oh, we've got to have a reason why. Have a reason, okay. yeah. Uh, but before we get on to that, just want to say because obviously you guys are watching my channel, beer52.com basically given this amazing opportunity for people that watch these videos and watch my channel and there's going to be a, there's a link it's um, beer52.com forward slash dazzling which i'll also put in the description box you guys can actually get this for absolutely zip zero it's free free beer uh to try it the, all you have to do is pay the uh the 4.95 um delivery to, to actually get it delivered and you can get it it's only available to be delivered in the uk so you can buy it for yourself and enjoy it if you like it, you can continue the description if you don't it's just a cancel before the uh, the next one comes off or again what amazing christmas and, and birthday present it doesn't matter when you're watching this obviously as you're watching this you've got the helsinki box but you might be watching this a few months later uh, and there's something new and fresh each month. But the, 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 the crux of it is, it's free beer for yourself, for your friends, for your family. You can't go wrong. And, and we just had so much fun doing that. So check out the link. Uh, go and try it out for yourself and, in, and enjoy it. And, you know, I can say I could really recommend it. But as I say, we're going to come back now and we're going to do our favourite from this particular box. The moment... The moment of truth. Which is the favourite? We've, we've everyone agree we've had a really good fun yeah. time. It's fantastic. Yeah. And as I say, guys, you can get this for free just with four ninety five uh, for delivery in the UK. So, Super L. Let's. 
Talk about the box, okay. uh, what you felt about uh, trying all these these beers, and then pick a favourite and why. So in terms of the box, I guess the summary would be pleasantly surprised. Like for me, as we discussed earlier, I would more than likely opt for a light box, so it would kind of cover these more than those. That's generally my normal preference. So for I believe, like particularly the Coffee Gorilla, and there was another, was it this one I believe? I forgot what it's called now. The oh yeah, Suit Suit Porter, they surprised me. They were both dark, and yet I could quite happily enjoy those. So for me, I think the mix box showed me the whole idea of what it's there for. It, it's there for you to try something new and actually prove you might actually enjoy something you don't suspect. However, in terms of favourite, after a long thought process, if you it lingered around these four, I'll be honest. Yeah. My final two came down to the Cloudberry. But the actual winner for me, in terms, was the very first one we tried. The first one? Yeah. So the good old Yes IPA. I think for me the reason this won is it was it was fruity, it was light, it had that perfect aftertaste, it had everything for me that ticked all the boxes. It's something I could imagine having at the pub. So it was the first one out of the box, the literally, the box. for you. Yeah. <laughs> right, well that brings it on to me, doesn't it? <laughs> so like, you know, I... Um, I've really enjoyed it. It's been great from trying stuff that I would never think of trying. As I say, you can't get any of this stuff in the supermarkets. You know, every month it's going to be something different and it's like, what are you going to get? And um, I've enjoyed trying all of them, some are better than others. But for me, it's, I'm, you know, I'm going to be the exact opposite to you. There we go. It's going to be the last <laughs> one out of the box. So for me, I'm going with the vanilla stout. Basically, it went down really, really well. I like the vanilla taste. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and um, yeah, I just, it just, I just loved it. Really, I was really surprised that that one to me is the is the favourite still. And so, me, Stan, <laughs> the man, right. step up to the plate. A slight change. Least favourite. That one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was talking to you. Du, 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 yeah. Second favourite, this one. Yeah. And vanilla retice. Yeah. Not really me, although I'm still drinking it. <laughs> Never waste beer. Especially good beer. So we come to this one now, which is my favourite. Yeah. The black, snow. black snow. Yeah. Very good. And why? So, why? Because it's a nice drink. And let's face it, why do you drink beer? Because it's a nice drink. And that's something you'd never have tried with. No. So, so, Dave the Draw. I would definitely, if I was picking a box, I'd go for the mix. Yeah. I really enjoyed going through it and trying different things. And I'm going to have to pick a favourite light and dark. I am. Because oh, a favourite light oh, and dark. dark. Yeah. Drum roll. Yeah, so, my favourite dark would have to be. The Coffee Gorilla. Oh really? Yeah, it really surprised me. That was the one that surprised you. I mean, if I had to pick a favourite dark Coffee Gorilla, would have won it yeah. for me. Yeah. And I haven't really drunk uh, much like it before, so no. I think there's a, a spot for it in my pantry. <laughs> <laughs> and I think my favourite light would be this one. The Mosaic Lager. Yeah. Because it was really easy to drink and it is described as an all day beer and I think that... You could drink it all day. <laughs> You could drink it all day. Yeah. So, from Dave the Draw, Stan the Man, Super Ellie, and myself, Dazzling Dave, let's go. Cheers, Cheers. Beer 52. <laughs> Until the next one, all the best.